Hi everyone, welcome to a new session. Here we have learned a new mantra where we pulled out of thin air. Um, now we're going to take you a little bit slower through the mantra. Um, so, let's go ahead and get started now, shall we? So the mantra, we'll breathe in to the belly. If you can breathe in deeper into the roots, even better. If you haven't already taken the time to take deep breaths, I highly recommend it. <sighs> this will help you get a little bit more grounded, feeling fine. Lay flat down on the ground if you need to. This would be perfect. The flatter you can lay on the ground, the better. Don't use pillows. You can use like a blanket or something. That will help. Um, the other thing is if your hands feel weird, go ahead and rub them together, give them a little bit of swirl, that'll help too. Um, so, we're gonna head and get started. We're gonna stop saying um, because that is uncertainty. <laughs> so, let's go! The mantra today we are doing is... Now, to understand this mantra, just for your visual understanding, if this is your first time, if this is not your first time, go ahead and skip it in the chapters. So, the first part is A. That will help activate your pineal gland, your third eye, and help eliminate some of those overthinking thoughts and egoic um, things that are holding you back, such as like doubt, or going like, oh, this, this sounds crazy, like why am I doing it? This is going to help surpass that. Now the other part that we have is a... <laughs> now if you breathe into your root, your root chakra, now if you're male, this is going to be where your genitalia is at, if you're female, same thing. Right, it's gonna feel maybe a little different for the both of us. I'm a male, not a female, so females, let me know how it feels, and you, know, and then males also let me know because like everybody's different. Anyways, this is like off topic, and that's okay. This is just being in the moment and going with the flow. Now, if you haven't already been breathing and practicing that, then you really need to be doing that right now because I've given you plenty of opportunity to sit there, breathe, listen and absorb the information. Now, to continue on, the sa is to bring the energy from the root upwards. Sa. And you gotta say it with vigor. So breathe in powerfully and then breathe out like you're, you're a steam engine, like you're fire, like you go sa. Like really get in it. Um, but don't do it too much to where it hurts. <laughs> Do it where you feel comfortable and work into it if you need to. And then Ba, Ba is going to help activate your um, your heart meridian and that's going to help transfer your energy directly up from your root chakra into your heart chakra. E -sa. Ba. Do you see how the Sa feels a little forceful, like it was like, like I'm trying to whip somebody or like slice them with an air knife? That's when you want to back off a little bit. So you go, you know, like that. That right there is what you're looking for. Everybody's a little bit different. Do what feels right for your energy centers. Everybody's going to have a slightly different vibration. If it's not working for you the first few times, adjust your vibration, much like you're doing a... Oh, uh, uh, uh. you know, adjust your octaves, change your vibration. You can even add modulation to it if you have it in your vocal systems. If not, that's okay. Some of us have a mod, you know, mod on our voice where we can go. Uh, 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 uh. It's like rolling your R's. Sometimes that can help you, like a jackhammer, for example, removing plaque off of your energy centers and getting it flowing a little bit easier. Now, let's go ahead and get back into it. So we have eh, and we have sa, ba. Now we're going to move to the next one, which is ka, ru. 
the full mantra, I'll tell you now. A sa ba ka rum sa di ka rum. It's gonna send it from your heart and it's gonna send it down into your solar plexus, down into your sacral energy section. Right now, um, at the time of recording this, the heart meridian down to the sacral super effective this is a lot of energy blocked this is a lot of unreleased emotions if you're a male you and you're feeling tight chest wonky gut feelings maybe your root chakra is like wonky donkey because of i don't know two-dimensional cash money whatever it's freaking paper <laughs> like is that really cash no your your abundance is all around you look around you right now right now open your eyes look around you is that paper? Is your is your walls made out of paper? Is it flammable? Think about that. What's more important? That paper that people claim has money, value, whatever? Or your home environment that you're surrounded by? That's something you really need to ask yourself. And if you're a male and you're a female, whatever. It doesn't matter your gender. It's okay to cry. It is like absolutely okay to cry. Sometimes our emotions get so built up, and you can even hear in my voice, that it gets locked in our heart, and that can start building up as plaque, and sometimes it can be more robotic, like a metal plate that's covering your heart. That's okay. It's okay to be a human. <laughs> I mean, like, we're only here for a human healing experience, like, and things can be chaotic and crazy, but sometimes finding the humor in the little things can really make your day. Everything has a positive, everything has a negative, but just know however you see it is how you're going to manifest it. If you see it positive, it's going to help you. If you see it negative, it's like you're running away, you're adding fear, and you're not seeing the, benefic the, <laughs> the benefits that it can bring. And it's easy to get caught up in the moment or be trapped in our head and not go through it. That's okay. That is perfectly okay. And by the way, for some of you watching this the first time, I might make a second video where it's just the mantra and not me talking. Who knows? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> this is something new I'm trying, and it's okay. <laughs> I've been dealing with Arcturians today, so... Not really dealing, but like getting assistance from them, so... It's a whole interdimensional rabbit hole we can get down later, but some of you may not be open to that, and that's okay. The human collective is at so many different levels of learning. All right, so let's get back into the mantra. Karum. That sends the energy from your heart down to your solar plexus, which is where your confidence lies. It's where the seat of the soul lies. It's where like your power comes in. It's what empowers you. If you feel disempowered, if you feel unstable, like that's probably something that you haven't fully explored. It means you're not empowering yourself. Um, sometimes you could be at a 9 to 5 job that doesn't treat you nice. It's understandable. It's understandable. We've all been there. It can be disempowering. But find a moment to really collect yourself and see what empowers you. The energy is going to move down to your state, girl. This is where your, your emotions lie. Now, if you imagine your sacral like um, a river flowing up and down, up and down, up and down. You can have rapids. You can imagine it like a pond. Um, a pond could turn bubbly if you're like, you know, raging. It could be waves. It could be whatever. Or it could be still and centered and not on one side or the other of your extremities of emotion. When there is a happiness, follow sadness. You can ride those waves and use them to your advantage. Like, for example, if you create, you want to be happy with the people you're around. So you can use that. And then when you feel down, channel that into creativity and then transmute it back up into that happy energy Karum. and then we're gonna go back into sa which is gonna bring all that root energy just in case it goes a little bit past those emotions goes down a little bit further if not you could also have more energy in your root center that's fine you're gonna bring that energy back up and then the e that is going to be back into your third eye, your pineal gland, your overactive mind if you have one, 
If you're like an air sign and you're into zodiac stuff, sometimes that happens. That's okay. That is okay. Now let's go ahead and give it a practice. So when you breathe in through the nose, really fill up. You heard my belly potentially. Breathe all the way in. Start, start at your nose. Breathe in, go through the throat, the lungs, sacral, whatever, belly. If you can get to the root, push it. If you can get further, like the knees, the toes, do it. That's like the further you push that energy, the better. But also don't strain yourself where you feel like you're, I don't know, like constipated or like trying to, <laughs> trying to force something like weird out. Don't force it. Just just be gentle with it, and if it doesn't happen the first breath, that's fine. Keep going with the flow. Breathe in. And out. And when you breathe out, let that out. Let it out. So breathe in. And let it out. You know? If you're angry, let it out. Let it out. Don't direct it at anybody. Although, if you have people around you, do let them know not to bother you at this moment and not to th take anything you do personally. It's just you healing and releasing. That's what we're here to do. So, let's go ahead and get started! Bye. Now that was just one time over. Now if this was your first time, I could see you doing it multiple times if you were a little bit short breath, that's okay. Um, you may have heard some tumbly grumbling. That just means you have some energy there. Um, this could be released as a fart or burp. All sorts of random things. Never underestimate how your body releases things. It's so weird and random when you get more into it. So that's your homework. If you want to call it homework. The other thing you can go to is call it healing. Um, office break time. Lay down and rest if you feel like... <laughs> 
the world's been a little too chaotic, that's okay. You may have noticed that I changed the vibration and the tone and that my voice sounds a little different than it did previously talking. That's okay. And if you did a really good job and you did it multiple times, you'll really feel it through the whole system. You bring the energy up, bring it back down, bring it up, and then you feel more calm, centered, grounded, might feel a little buzzing. You might feel energy moving back and forth in each of your energy centers. That's okay. It's okay. There's going to be a lot of things that bubble up. If you start crying, if tears start forming, your throat gets tight, that's okay. That just means it needs a release that way. Now if we want to do it again, we can. We could try it all at once once we're comfortable with doing it as one go around. That's okay. But for now, that is the end of this session. Thank you for joining me, and I wish you well. And uh, much love and healing. And don't be afraid to be your authentic self. Don't uh, strive to be like everyone else. Strive to be your own unique individual. And if somebody says you have to be relatable to others, that's that's weird, you know? Like, <laughs> don't feel like you need to do that. That's fine. That's what somebody else says. That's not what you feel inside, is it? What you feel inside and what feels like most empowering and most honoring to you in your heart is where you need to follow. But also don't follow your brain because sometimes it could be a little logical trap where you get stuck in a loop and you're like, yes, no, yes, no, indecisive, ah, and then it's like too many thoughts and then you're chaotic and then you forget to breathe and then your brain's controlling your body and then your body's screaming at you. Take it slow. Take it slow. If you have to, do one thing a day. And what I mean by that is, um, let's say you really like wood woodworking and it's manual labor, okay? Work on it a little bit, but don't force it. If you start getting tired, if your hands start cramping up, that means you need to take a break. Stop before something happens, because if you keep pushing, you can end up hurting yourself, scratching, whatever. And I said goodbye, but I guess I had more to say, and that's fine. So, um, yeah, um, I wish you well. Take care of your body. It is highly important for you to take care of your vessel during this chaotic time. The most grounding you can do, breathing you can do, just focus on healing yourself and focus on your family. Those two are probably going to be some of the biggest primaries of you. And some people, those may not be their focuses. That's okay. Everybody has their own focuses, but always strive to be yourself, your authentic self. Without the filters, without the trauma, release the trauma. Heal yourself, evolve, raise your frequency, and just feel nice. Like, your life will be amazing. It will be so much lighter. You'll wonder why you haven't done this for years. And then the world gets more chaotic. You learn more, and you're like, wow. Anyways, love you. Take care of yourself. Have a nice day. Bye.